It was about a year ago now when I made a video titled My Coding Journey and I went through all the languages and frameworks I learned leading up until that point. And now we can add artificial intelligence and machine learning with Java and processing and a little bit of Python to that list for what I learned in 2020. But what I have planned for this year is totally different. I want to go back to what I used to do professionally and that is full stack software engineering. I do have a project in mind, and luckily for me, I don't have to do this all alone. Well, maybe some of the full stack development side of things all alone, but not the project itself. And the project actually already has a life of its own. It was initially created by fellow YouTuber Kenji. If you follow along his channel, then you may already know what the project is, but it is a project that he has called the leaderboard project, but has also coined project engagement. You see, this project is a loosely put together web application that is pulling data from Ken's YouTube channel, in particular, the comment section. So the amount of comments, the amount of replies to a comment, the amount of likes on the comment, and he's pulled this data together to create a leaderboard. The leaderboard shows the most engaged individual on his channel and you can base this on separate categories like number of likes, number of replies, number of comments. And where I come in, as he is a professional data scientist and I am a former professional software engineer, I guess that's fair to say, I'll be coming in and making it the web application that it deserves to be. Now, something that we have yet to determine, however, is the stack that we plan to use. Now, I don't know, we, we really haven't even had our first meeting. This has just been through messages and whatnot. We have a first meeting. Well, maybe by the time you're watching this video, we've had our first meeting. However, we have yet to figure out what stack to use. I am unsure if I'm gonna be doing 90% of the software, like the full stack work or 100% or 50%. I'm not sure yet. I'm down for whatever, but we want something that everybody, all three of us are comfortable with. Now, if I were creating this project all by myself, I would stick with what I'm best at, TypeScript and Java. And mind you, for the front end framework, I use Angular, not AngularJS, but Angular alongside the TypeScript. And then for the back end, I use Spring Boot alongside Java. And my simple reasoning is I've made beautiful dashboards and web applications using these languages and frameworks but the only caveat is I'm not the only one on this team. And I'm actually making this video as well to ask y'all, what stack would you use if you had to take on this project to make a beautiful analytics dashboard? I'm not sure if that's an accurate description of it, but I do want it to look beautiful like a given analytics dashboard. Just take a look at the project, what would you use? So why am I telling you this? Not only to let you know what I plan to be coding this year, but also to let you know that this will be a video series. I'm considering live streaming every second of coding this project and planning this project from my end at least on Twitch. Not sure if I will, I'm not sure how productive I can be while streaming and coding at the same time, but that is a thought. At the very least, I will be maintaining a video series on my channel, which is basically just me coding again, as a full stack software engineer. However, unlike with my previous work, this project, I can actually show you all the code, how the progress is really going, the task board, I assume. I think mainly all of this has the uh, probability to be public to everybody, open source, which makes it a lot more fun for not only y'all, but me as well, because I don't have to worry about leaking any code and worrying about what not only losing my job, but worrying about the repercussions from the client in which you're building the web app because we're building this web app for ourselves and for hopefully other creators. Speaking of which, let me give you a little bit of scope of the project. You obviously know I want to make it a, a real good solid web app and we're going to add some features here and there that we're going to have to work on a backlog in order to to determine exactly what we want to, to, to build in this into. But the idea and what you will see in the near future is to start off by having a leaderboard for my channel and having the winner of the leaderboard, the person at the top of the list on overall engagement on my channel for any given month or quarter or year, the ability to win some sort of prize. Maybe I work with a sponsor and give away a laptop or a keyboard or a computer or 
something along those lines. You see what I mean? Then the plan is after we expand it to my channel, we will hopefully expand to other channels. And already right off the bat, you can see how it not only benefits the creator, me, the YouTuber, because more engagement on your videos is good. The YouTube algorithm really likes that. Plus, I like talking to y'all. The more comments in the comment section, the happier I am. The more people who engage in the videos, at least the person who engaged in it the most, has a potential to win something every month. But then, depending on what that prize is for any particular month, in theory, there's also a sponsor to give the person who is most engaged on my channel something for free. And they get exposure along the way as well. So it's a win for the viewer, a win for the YouTuber, and a win for the sponsor. Where it goes from here, I guess you'll just have to subscribe to the channel and find out. But with all that being said, I think 2021 is going to be a wonderful year. Everything from YouTube to coding to what is in store for 2021, especially coming off such a bad year that is 2020. I'm excited for the future and I hope you all are too. Yeah.